Hi, I'm Jared Perkins, and I play the Bellier. My first experience with this web series was when uh, you contacted me to play the Bellier. Uh, I had not heard of that character previously, but I definitely thought it was interesting that you were incorporating an uh, anti-doctor character into your series in that form. I did some research though and I did realize that, okay, the character has been mentioned uh, both in the older Doctor Who series and in the newer ones. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. It's something that's been mentioned, but it hasn't exactly been uh, fully uh, realized villain yet. I'm like, okay, so I get to do sort of an original take on it, which will be uh, interesting to see once they do end up using it, and they will, once they do end up using it in the real thing, how those will differ. I think it was worth being involved in because it's sort of like one of those things where you do it completely for fun, and there's this isn't a very low pressure, you know, you're doing it for fun, it's a fun thing to do, so I definitely think it was worth it. Yeah. When I first uh, was contacted by Zane to play the Valiard, I was very excited. Uh, I like Doctor Who, uh, he's doing a fan series, and I'm like, oh, this will be a fun little thing for me to do, this will be great. So uh, I went for it. Working with Zane on set, a uh, very good experience. Uh, you know, this is something we're doing for fun on the cheap. <laughs> Three pieces of equipment, if we're lucky, per day. So uh, definitely a very fun, uh, very easygoing atmosphere working with Zane. Some of the moments I enjoyed while playing the value were those moments where I get to sort of play the uh, classic uh, bad guy's bad guy, right? Where it's like, oh, I have a plan, and I'm going to execute it. You're my nemesis. <laughs> You know, things like that. So those are definitely the parts that I enjoyed the most while playing the Valiant. I wish that he had more time to be developed, maybe appeared at the end of a few other episodes, sort of like, he'll never be able to defeat me, you know, cut the black, that kind of thing, to more of establish him as like uh, this element that could potentially reoccur later on, as opposed to just appearing and then disappearing. Maybe he'll come back, maybe he won't, but I felt like he could have been uh, established as a foreshadowed element a little stronger. I have not watched all the episodes of series one. I watched midway up until uh, my episodes were about to be aired when I got the notification to play the part to familiarize myself with what the look and feel of the series was so that I could fit my own uh, acting style into that. Um, I feel that the character definitely fits. Uh, Zane tends to favor the sort of anti-doctor who, uh, the anti-doctor style of villain where you have a, a time lord or other immortal, perhaps a beyond mortal figure uh, in a battle of wits against the Doctor. And so I definitely felt that this villain fits within that context very well. I think uh, the Master, definitely favorite, because he incorporates that I'm you but I'm bad element, but in a way where he's amassed an army of subordinates take on the Doctor in a way that the Valiard or other villains never could. Yes, you could see the villain again. Will he look like me? Eh, who knows? Who knows? Uh, will you see me in small roles? Most likely.